Hi, how you doing? Hey, what's your secret you want to share with us today? I've been married for over 10 years. Okay, congrats. And I have been sleeping with my husband's cousin. Oh. For a little, well, we've known each other for a long time before I met my husband. And I didn't know that was his cousin. Mm. And I got a kid by him. Wow. So whose kid does your husband think it is? His. He thinks it's his baby. Oh, my he God. His cousin. Wait a minute. So you're, you have a child by your husband's cousin. But, but your husband, husband is raising it. it as though it's his own. Oh, my gosh. Yep. So what does the cousin think about all this? Is he wanting to, like, reveal anything? Do y'all feel like coming nope. clean? Or is this nope. to the grave? No, nope. no, nope. To the grave. So who, he's doing what he got to do. For, he's doing what he got to do for the baby. Does the, and, does um, the baby... He's doing what he got to do, you said? The, you mean the baby? She looks like me. Okay. Ooh, honey, twin, honey. That's a twin. Look just like me. Okay. <laughs> well, no, yes, yes. I, like I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask who the, is your baby look like the dad or the or the. No, the no, 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 uh, no. How close is he with his cousin? Oh, um, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, laughing. That shit funny, so you huh? Intend, you intend to stay married, though. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Are you still <laughs> sleeping? Are you still sleeping with the the cousin? Hell yeah. Yeah, that's... Bro. Son. Son, I ain't gonna lie, son. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Some of y'all bitches is trifling. Trifling, bro. Man. Yo, some of y'all, some of y'all are so trifling, dog. It's not look. <laughs> Well, this is not going to get any better, but um, if Mayna was here, Mayna would have lost his mind. Mayna would have had a fit. Oh, and he's not here. Okay, thank you, Jesus, on that. <laughs> thank God Mayna was here. It's funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo. Yeah, some of y'all are so trifling. Some of y'all are so trifling, dog. I don't even know the words that to put together to really explain. I'm I'm deeply upset. <laughs> I am deeply upset about that. I don't even know this man, but I feel for him. His cousin, his cousin. <laughs> Next video, dog. My girl that usually does um my waxes it wasn't there today the new person taking care of me like opened my legs real wide i'm like oh damn like all the crevices and the corners were taken care of this person was telling me like oh you're so fresh down there and i'm like oh thank you so much and like i'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> for some reason this time around like it dripped down there a little bit this idiot says it's probably a you know, sensation. Like, so he was saying that you know I should come back for more. Wait, 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 wait. Choose him each time because he? if I really like what? Him, huh? You said he? Yeah. He. And he said himself. I'm talking about some. Maybe it was sensational. <laughs> That's what I said too. <laughs> Hey, I ain't gonna lie. My my wife, she get waxed like every once in a while. I'd be curious to know who the wax person is, bro. I don't care if he, you know, if he's supposed to be supposedly crossing the street, playing for the other team. I don't care, bro. A man's a man, dog. I don't, I don't give a damn. 
You feel me? Ain't no man for me open. But then again, it got the gynecologists. A lot of gynecologists be damn men. I think the dude that delivered. Nah, it was a lady that delivered my. Hold on, was it a dude there? Hold on, man. I gotta ask. I don't even remember if it was a, a male doctor. I'm sorry, y'all. This, this. I gotta ask. Hey, babe, let me ask you a question, right? When, when, when you was in delivery, right? Was it a man, was it a man doctor or it was all women? Damn, babe. I feel like it was like one male nurse there. But he wasn't like, he was looking at the machines. He wasn't like. He wasn't looking at the poom poom. He wasn't looking at me. Oh, well, yeah, the vagina. So I was basically surrounded by women. But oh. I feel like it was one man in there. Like I said, he was up by my face looking at the monitors and stuff. Oh, I. Right. But there are male gynecologists in OBGYN yeah, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, you know yeah, that, right? Yeah, we ain't talking about all that. I was just, I couldn't remember. I think he was Asian. It was like an Asian guy. Oh, yeah, because, right. I mean, you was holding my leg up and looking where you were supposed to be looking at. Yeah, so. of course. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now I just check. Okay, okay, right. man. I stand corrected. It was one, one penis in the room, but he was looking at the monitor. It's very much a fool in most of my decisions. Even with all the success that you've had, you're an incredible mother now, businesswoman. You're working with Playboy. You still look back on that and you still feel ashamed. Yeah, I don't like the fact that people can see me naked on the internet or can see those things happening to me. I think that it's gross. That is crazy that you can can build this whole life and you still feel ashamed. I mean, I'm I'm proud of myself and what I've done and and I wouldn't take anything back. However, it's not like I lo I like the idea that people can view that of me. I personally, those videos make me want to throw up. As they should. If y'all don't know who she is, she's a, a former porn star. And, um, yeah, man. I've seen some of her videos. Whew. Whew. You know what? This got me thinking, right? Because everybody in their mother is talking about Lena the Plug and Adam 22. And right now, it's fun and it's cool that they made a whole bunch of money off of these, these videos. And I actually saw the video and, bro... I'll probably talk about this in another video because as a man, I I can't have another man do my wife the way this man did Adam 22's wife. Like, we're not going to be married anymore. Let, a, let alone a, a man who... This nigga's a... No homo, bro. This nigga's a mutant, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a hundred, bro. Folks is a mutant, bro. Like, I'm good. You feel what I'm saying? I'm I'm good. I've been told that I'm good, but like, yeah, I ain't finna be talking about this nigga dick, bro. Just just say this nigga a mutant. Like, I'm not letting my wife touch that. And then they they had an interview where they was talking about it, and like. She was saying how her and Adam couldn't have sex because she was still in pain. Son, what? This man renovated your wife insides. I cannot have another man renovate my wife insides. Come on, son. Anyway, I say all that to say, in a few years, even though they made all that money on them videos, on this video, she's going to regret it, and he's going to regret it. Money runs out. You can run out of money. You can never run out of the past. Whatever you did in the past, it's here to stay. You got to think about that shit. This girl wanted a rich and attractive husband, so she went on LinkedIn and found guys with impressive job titles at tech companies. Once she found a guy who was cute 
and rich enough for her, she went to his other social media pages and found out what his dad did for a living. Once she found out that the dad taught pottery at a local art studio, she signed up for his 10-week class. Throughout the 10-week class, she's dropping breadcrumbs to other students and the teacher about what kind of guy she's looking for in a long-term relationship. All she did was go to the son's social media page and list out all of his hobbies and say, I'd love to find somebody who does all of these things and has a great job in tech. The dad obviously overhears all of this and is like, oh my gosh, I have a single son who would be perfect for this girl. So the dad called her over after class one night and says, hey, I don't want this to be weird, but if you want to go on a blind date with my son, I'd be happy to ask him to see if he would go out. She's elated, but she keeps her poker face on and it's like, oh yeah, that'd be great. Why don't you set us up for some drinks? They go on a date and they are vibing. He thinks he found his dream girl and she knows that she found what she wanted because she plucked them off the internet. From what I know, he is about to propose to her, which means she is weeks away from realizing her dream of sitting out by the pool all day while he goes clickety-clack on a keyboard at work all day, bringing home that money. This girl wanted a rich and attractive... <sighs> Alright, what's your biggest regret? My biggest regret is that I got this drunk and my eyelash came off. <laughs> You still look gorgeous. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Have a great night. You too. Did I see your eyelash? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> no comment, bro. No comment. That's funny. You got a nigga on my baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I keep doing it, y'all. I just complimented it. There we are. There we are. Just call me your little baby. <laughs> Come on, man. I know your every move. No, no. You are my yeah. baby. They from Chicago. Yeah. There's people outside. I'm not by myself. I'm here. I'm here. Cause I knew you were gonna call the police. I'm gonna get low. I'm here. I'm here. You, you ain't gotta be embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. Why you gonna embarrass? Why, why you gonna make my bed with my son? What am I embarrassed for? Who baby? Then? What am I embarrassed for? What am I embarrassed? Look, sir, I, I caught, caught the hope with little dude. What? He's scared to leave. Come on, come on, leave. Don't come on, leave. I'm tired. You sit on floor. Come on, I'm gonna check you. I'm not leaving until I check you on the last boy. If I don't check you, I'm going to chase you, chase you home. Man, you ain't got no room. Loves you. Yo. It's so much trifling things in this world. Well, we saw the video today about, you know what I'm saying, Shorty sleeping with her husband's cousin and having her husband's cousin's baby and having her husband thinking that the baby is his. Like, things like that are how villains are created. But another thing that, that creates some villains, bro, imagine your baby mother getting in front of your child. It's an evil world we live in, man. It's an evil world, dog. Mm. Alright, bro. That's, that's today's video. I'm sorry. That's today's video. Mm.